How's it going everyone? My name is Grove and welcome to my new 42 Defense Hardcore Iron Man series. If you're new to my channel, I used to make videos of my one Defense Hardcore account until I unfortunately died at the Corrupted Gauntlet. I still play the account as a regular Iron Man, but I've been longing for a new Hardcore ever since I died. Except this time, I want a bit less restriction. The reason I'm choosing to go 42 Defense for this series is because it's still restricted, but it opens up pretty much the entire game with the ability to complete quests like Dragon Slayer 2 and Monkey Madness 2. Now the long term goal for the account will be unlocking the Jad Slayer Helm through completion of all easy through elite combat achievements, and eventually trying to complete as much of the diary as possible. Now the more near term goals will be Song of the Elves completion, into the Bow of Ferdinand, then getting an Infernal Cape from the Inferno, and then grinding Woodly Slayer to get Dagon High top and bottom for my best in slot mage gear. Lastly, I know pretty much everyone has seen the early game a ton, so this video is over 15 days of in-game time worth of progress, and I complete almost every early game grind. If you're interested in the series or have seen my content before, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. We're nearing 5,000 subscribers and it would help out a ton. And with that, let's get straight into the series. Okay, and since I was mainly playing this account on the side, I don't have any live commentary, but in the background is just really basic clips of the basic Hardcore Iron Man starts on the Osiris Guide. Um, I can link his guide in the description as well. And the original goal of this account was actually to have the fastest uh, Song of the Elves completion, and alongside that have the lowest level Song of the Elves completion. Um, but then Osiris did it himself, and he got Song of the Elves completed in 8 days game time. So I kind of gave up on both those goals and just continued. But yeah, I think I should have live comms coming up here um, in the next clip or so after I buy Full Graceful. But in the background, obviously, just the thing you've seen hundreds of other people do. So let's get into the live commentary. And after getting Full Graceful, I came here and got 1.1 mil. I'm pretty much just following Osiris's guide. Um, right to a T at this point, but really nice to start off with 1.1 mil. And just finished off 46 mage at mage training arena like the guide said, but I think I'm going to go off guide soon. It's really hard to know what to record and I don't really like playing the game this way. So probably not going to be following the guide too much anymore. Okay, and I forgot to make a clip, but I ended up getting 50 fire making. I am going to go to winter Todd soon. I just need that loot and I also am going to need magic logs for desert treasure. So might as well get it out of the way early on. Okay, and don't have live comms for these couple of clips. I'm sorry about the format of this video. It's a little weird, but I was making this account on the side as I played the Frodo account. So it was kind of hard to have the recording software going on both at once and the mic and everything like that. But yeah, ended up doing a couple of quests just to get some levels for Winter Todd because it gives you better loot from the crates if you have higher other levels like crafting and mining and stuff like that. So wanted to get those levels up and then also finished off 25 construction before actually heading there. And that is Bone Voyage completed. So I've unlocked birdhouses, which is pretty massive. Um, oh, sorry. I keep forgetting to do that with the quest helper. It's probably annoying to look at, um, but I wanted to unlock these before actually heading to Winter Todd. And then I'm also going to unlock seaweed runs as well. So going to go do that quest. And just finishing off the Pirate Pete part of RFD because that allowed me to unlock the diving apparatus as well as this fishbowl helmet. So now I can go do seaweed runs, which is going to be massive for crafting. Been doing some Winter Todd, haven't really got any good loot, but I've also been staying on top of my birdhouse runs and my seaweed runs. And this is 45 farming for access to the farming guild, which is going to be massive for getting seeds. And 50 construction right here. I've gotten a lot of levels from solo Winter Todd, but I'm pretty bored of that now. I haven't got my magic log, so I'm going to move on to something else right now. Okay, and there's 50 thieving, which is massive because now I can go get full rogues outfit to get double seeds from master farmers. Okay, and that is the last piece of the rogues outfit that I need. So that's going to come in very handy for these master farmers, considering I'm going to have to do a good amount of them to get 70 air blur. But nice to have this out of the way. Okay, and I guess it's time for a little bit of an update clip before I get this level. Um, I haven't really been playing this account that much. I've just been playing it on the side and camping herb runs, a little bit of master farmers, so I haven't really recorded much progress, but I should be getting 45 herb lore here in a couple of potions, which is nice because that's going to get me a good amount of XP without having to boost for it. But yeah, that might be a surprise too because I don't think I've shown much at all. Um, I can show off my stats here a little bit to see kind of where we're at. 
Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a little weird playing two accounts at once. I don't usually do this, so I've been struggling to get all the clips together and everything like that. But yeah, just a little bit of an update clip. Just camping herb runs, birdhouse runs, AF gang, stuff like that. And this is 50 air blower. Not really a significant level, just I guess a cool one. Um, still haven't been doing much but camping herb runs, logging in every here and there. Not playing too much, but still making some progress. And finishing off the Varrock Diary for the Varrock Armor, I'm gonna go send 70 mining in one go pretty much. I'm really motivated to play this account right now. I'm bored of my peer. So, gonna send these 70s very fast. And coming up on 70 mining here, I did this so fast. I think I got that Varrock Armor yesterday and I've just been power mining since and banking it because I'm gonna end up turning this iron ore into iron bars at Blast Furnace and then making them into plate bodies for 70 smithing or something like that, but yeah, pretty much just need to keep grinding out these level 70s. I'm not looking forward to a couple of them, but no option. And 70 farming, I barely showed any of these levels, but I didn't think I really needed to. The goal was always 70, but now I'm going to go do 70 smithing at the Blast Furnace. And finishing off some agility, I'm about to get level 70, which is what I need for Song of the Elves. Um, I'm taking a break from the Blast Furnace. I didn't end up with enough to get 70 smithing. So I need to send LMS to make some gold ore, but the biggest problem is still going to be herb lore. 60 magic, little random level while enchanting these rings. Easy clue casket. What the? Oh, sh oh, that's actually really cool. Ham joint. I think that's actually good. I think that that actually might be like my best in slot melee weapon right now. And if I eventually get to top, that'll be really nice. But wow, I can't believe I got that. I kind of wish I got that on the one deep. <laughs> I have a lot more use for it, but it's cool. And as you can see in my inventory, I ended up going to LMS and making well over one mil. I need the money to finish off smithing. Um, I'm just gonna buy the gold ore and then make it. That's why I'm finishing off Family Crest right here for these goldsmith gauntlets. But I think this is pretty much the fastest way I can do it. I get the LMS points pretty quick. So time to go finish off 70 smithing. And this should be the last deposit any second now. There it is, 70 smithing. That was so fast after I actually bought the gold ore. This is like 250k XP an hour or something, maybe even more. So that really was not too bad, but pretty glad to have that out of the way now. Okay, so I decided to go kill some blue dragons and got a couple of inventories of bones. I don't think I quite got enough for 40, which is pretty unfortunate. I think I'm gonna end up at like 39 maybe, um, but yeah, I don't really like being here. I have my friend on one of my alts that's around my combat level. 38 prayer, that's not bad. But yeah, he's in the corner. Put him up in a Robin Hood hat and everything. So if someone logs in, hopefully they click on him. But yeah, should be ending just short of 39 prayer here. Okay, and I put this quest off for quite a bit, but this is a nice item to get. The Av is a or I think it'll be the Attractor. But still, nice to get. Gonna go finish off 70 Hunter right now. Shouldn't take too long. And this should be 70 Hunter. This did not take too long. I actually enjoy doing Chinchampas. I'm probably gonna throw some of these to get some levels, but not too many. Gonna go finish off woodcutting now. It should only take a couple of hours, to be honest. So, looking forward to that. And 70 woodcutting coming up here very soon. Hopefully I can get one. Nice, there it is. I've also been banking all these logs, so I just need to make the GP to actually turn them into planks and we'll have construction banked. Okay, well, it's time to move on from the goal of the lowest level Hardcore Iron Man Song of the Elves completion. Because also I've been doing some Soul Wars, so I can open these in the background. But the goal was to get the fastest Song of the Elves completion, as well as the lowest combat level. But Osiris, or Osiris, um, the god, actually just got a Song of the Elves completion in like eight days, one hour. So absolutely destroyed me with better stats. So I don't really see the point in going for it anymore. Um, I kind of just want to play the account and start Wildy Slayer and finish Song of the Elves and actually be able to do Corrupt the Gauntlet. So just doing some uh, Soul Wars as I thought over what I was gonna do, but I've decided I'm gonna move on from that goal and probably quest. But this is the loot I've got from 10 Spoils of War and Let's move on with the account. And there it is. 13 defense. Can unlock fairy rings, which is nice. 
feels weird though. I've been playing Frodo for so long. I, I can't really believe I'm getting defense, but it should be fun. It's going to be a little bit of a different journey. Looking forward to it. And Monkey Madness completed. The defense should shoot up to like 35 or something after I grab this XP, but there it is. And I'm going to go grab the XP. We'll see what I end up at. Should get a decent amount of levels here. Might even be 1250 total. Yeah, I can't mess this up. Focus on strength and stamina. 34 defense. Nice. We'll take it. 1250 total on the dot as well. That'll be pretty nice for wilderness content. And the two very big defense quests out of the way. I hope this gets me 40. Nice. 40 on the dot. So I can wear rune, which is pretty nice. Um, just going to keep working towards Barrow's Gloves, I guess. Well, I put this off for a little bit, but I'm actually going to buy my rune pouch now. So this is nice to have out of the way. And then I'm going to be coming back here for quite a bit more GP to buy rune arrows because it is the main way I'm going to make money for two mil to actually make the planks for 70 construction. But we're making our way. And that is the last defense level I plan to get on this account. So I thought I'd show it. Hero's quest completed. 100 quest points, slowly working towards Barrow's Gloves as I also slowly work towards 70 air blow. It's taking quite a while. Um, but yeah, thought I'd show that. Probably won't show too many of these quests because I know everyone's seen a million of these YouTube videos of questing, but let's keep moving on. And I feel like this one's significant enough to uh, show, but Desert Treasure completed. That's always nice. As you can see, 131 quest points. I have been sending some quests, but not sure if I'm going to finish Barrow's Gloves before 70 Year Blur. And just leached a torso. Group Iron Man pretty much just came out, so I wanted to get ahead of it before they get very busy. So, Leech to Torso from Leech BA, I think the CC is, was very quick, pretty much less than an hour. So that is a very nice upgrade. Okay, and I have the first Hispori KC. Forgot my spade and stuff, so had to run to the bank and grab it. Do we get the one KC bucket? We don't, unfortunate. And 70 Herb Lore. The requirement for Song of the Elves. This is the biggest level on the account so far. This is pretty much what's held up everything. I could have got it faster, um, but 12 days in game time. We'll take it. And all we need is 70 construction. I can probably do that all tomorrow. And then I might get like 80 magic just for Blood Blitz to be a bit more comfortable. But these are the stats. So we be doing Song of the Elves very soon. And last but not least, that is... 70 construction the last stat that i need for song of the elves i still need to do roving elves um regicide and the morning's end line but that shouldn't be too bad i'm also going to go camp some lms for gp and get 80 magic uh probably like stun alking or something so i don't gain hp levels but yeah should be completing song of the elves either tomorrow or the next day so really happy with that okay and like three days later finally 80 magic. I forgot how long that was actually going to take me. I was pretty much just fire strike alking the whole entire time and it probably took like 20 hours or something like that. But that should make the Song of the Elves fight a lot easier and now I need to go do Morning's End and all those quests and Regicide and all the fun stuff. But Song of the Elves should be soon. Okay and I did Regicide and Roving Elves uh, a couple days ago but here is Morning's End oh sorry about that. Here is Morning's End Part 1 completed. This should be an HP level, I think. And then I also ended up with 73 range. I was procrastinating in AFK and Crabs, um, which I shouldn't have done, but it is what it is. And this should be Morning's End Part 2 completed. Didn't bother showing any of the quests because I'm sure everyone has seen this plenty of times. But now to start Song of the Elves. Um, not too nervous about these boss fights. Saren might be a little weird, but I'm going to do the Nightshade method which shouldn't be too bad. I'll explain it once I get there. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. And finally, the end of the light maze. I've never done this without stamina potions, so this took a really long time, probably over an hour. <laughs> but moving on, on to the harder parts of the quest. First, somewhat of a boss fight here. I'm going to try and melee it. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. I need to make sure I don't get hit by that thing. Which shouldn't be too bad if I'm meleeing it, but I know this thing's defense is really high for range. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. This should be pretty easy. 
I know this thing's defense is really high for range and mage, so. I just zoned out. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, and that wasn't that bad. Took a little bit, but... Actually ate one of the bombs, too, and took a 43. That definitely shouldn't have happened, but... Might have lost focus a little bit. This fight's round two. This one's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty much just going to use my chins, prey range, and hide behind these barriers on the side. So shouldn't have too much of a problem with this at all. And first try completed. Not too bad with the chins. They make it a lot easier, but obviously I did go through like close to 100 of them. But I need to make sure I don't mess up on the range uh, thing here. He like hits you back and then hits you with the range and it can hit over a 50. Um, so need to be careful in this boss fight. I really don't want to throw this account in the trash. All right, that was way closer than it had to be. I forgot that he drains your stats, so I didn't bring super restores. I brought pair potions. But now all we have to do is kill Saren. Unfortunately, I'm actually only... I think I'm 53 crafting and I need 56 to make Phoenix necklaces. So I'm probably going to end up doing Saren tomorrow and I'll just make... I don't know what I have in the bank to get my crafting up actually, but should be done this quest tomorrow. Okay, in the moment I've been dreading for a long time, this is it. I'll explain the nightshade method really quickly. Pretty much when it's, when Saren teleports you for the bomb, you just put on a phoenix necklace, eat the nightshade when you're below. For me, it's like 23 HP or 28 HP. Um, procs the phoenix necklace and the bomb doesn't even go off, so you don't take the max damage. That's why I have like no food in my inventory, um, but you really can't mess it up. It shouldn't be too hard, but obviously I am nervous. I'm risking 15 days game time, so hopefully I don't mess it up. I'll show it in action, but yeah, let's do this. Ooh, I'm nervous. All right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully I get some good DPS. I'm really nervous for the first bomb, uh, the first like Phoenix necklace proc. I really hope I don't mess this up. Ooh, that'll never that'll never not be scary um wow i guess the phoenix necklace puts me back up to 25 which is pretty nice that was the easy one though i didn't even have to do the nightshades yet that'll be coming next hopefully i have some good dps okay and the first bomb should be coming up here soon i think like one more attack and i have to pull off this nightshade okay so any yep this should work oh i hope this works Okay, it worked. Whew. Okay, this method is really good. I feel a lot more confident now. Um, yeah, so anytime after the teleport, you pretty much just eat the nightshade with the phoenix necklace on, and it completely nulls the damage. So this is definitely a really good method, but I really hope I can do this first try. I don't have many supplies. Please. Oh my god, sub. Oh, please. This is going to be too close. This is going to be way too close. Oh shit, it's hitting me. I was, I just almost got chance there. If it was hitting constant sixes, I don't think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I don't have food, I gotta get out. I, I can't get my HP high enough for this bomb. I don't know if the nightshade will hit me less than a 15, but oh, that really stinks. I use so many runes and so many supplies. I might be able to scrape up enough GP to get another attempt going but I'm not too sure. I, if I can, I really need to get it this second attempt or I'm gonna have to prep for like a full day to even try again. It's too bad. All right, round two. Hopefully this is the one. I really don't have any options because I have no GP left. So if I don't get this one, it's back to LMS and farm runs. Should be it. Hopefully. I still have two more tries anyway, so. Mm hmm Hopefully. Need to hit though. Is that it? That's it. Oh, let's go, finally. That is such a big stress off the shoulders, dude. Oh my god. I, oh. 
<laughs> my palms are sweating so bad. Finally, I'm back to back to Priftinus on a hardcore. Let's go. Let's go. And this is the very end of the quest. Song of the Elves completed. This is going to be some nice XP drops, but it feels so good to be done with this. I've been procrastinating really hard because I pretty much put all this work into this account. And if I died on Saren, it just would have been down the drain. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to be doing Corrupted Gauntlet in the next episode. It feels so good to be back there. I need to re uh, redeem myself for my last death. Um, but I'm also probably going to get like 87 range before I do that for some max hits. Um, but yeah, I am so happy to finally be done. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. It will help out a lot. I plan to crank out a lot of videos on this account. I feel really motivated to play it right now. So I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of this series, the full early game, except for Barrow's Gloves. But I hope you enjoyed.